Okay, so for today, we're going to talk about uh, polar and rectangular coordinates. Uh, this is a continuation about uh, calculator techniques. So we have pro five problems today. We are going to solve uh, using the calculator from rectangular to polar and vice versa. So let's get started. So for the problem number one, find the polar coordinate of the points uh, 3, 4. So this is a two coordinate system and we wish to find the uh, polar coordinates of this. Remember that we have a formula in getting this. If you have studied advanced math, okay, we are we have a formula getting the r here and the theta. But in this uh, video, we are going to just simply use our calculator to convert this to polar. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we have to click the shift and then the pole here or the plus sign here so that it has a polar. So what are we going to input here are the numbers or the coordinates 3, comma, and 4. So once we uh, input the values in our calculator, meaning we are going to convert this 3, 4 to polar, you can click uh, simply click the equal sign so make sure also that your calc is in degree mode so that uh, uh, the theta that will be solved is in terms of degrees not in radians so and then we have r equals 5 and theta equals 53.13 so we have now the answer here therefore is letter c so it's that easy because uh if we use the formula, we are going to use r equals square root of x squared plus y squared. So meaning this is your x and this is your y. That's the value of r. And then for theta, we're going to use arc tangent. So let me... Arc tangent of y all over x, meaning 4 all over 3. That's the for the theta. Okay, 53.13. And again, for the... Uh, R, we have 3 squared plus 4 squared. The square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. So that's 5. So you can also use that. Okay, but uh, if, in case you forgot the formula, you can use the pole. Okay, the polar coordinate here in our calculator. Okay, and for problem number 2, we are, we're going to, de going to determine the rectangular coordinate of the polar coordinate. So here, we are going to convert this uh, polar coordinate back to its rectangular so we also have a formula in converting that uh, uh, polar into rectangular into x and y so but here just like what i've shown you in case you forgot the formula we can click shift and then we can click the minus sign which will uh, have a rec meaning whatever we input inside this must be in polar so that when we click equals, it will be converted to rectangular. So we have 10, shift, comma, okay, shift, this, and then we have 120. So meaning we're going to convert this into rectangular. So upon equal sign, you have negative 5, okay? So negative 5, the x, and for the value of y is 8.66. So, the negative 5s are in the A and D only. So, and then the Y, as you can see here, is positive. So therefore, letter A is not the answer. A, B, C is not the answer. If we evaluate 5 squared of 3, that would be 8.66. So, the answer on this problem will be 5 squared of 3, negative 5 and 5 squared of 3, which is letter D. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, if we try to use our calculator. Because I believe, uh, if I remember, if I recall, the, the formula would involve R cosine theta and R sine theta. So, again, our R is 10. Okay, and our theta would be 120. So, if we do that, I think that's, that's it. Negative 5, that's the value of X. And uh, for the Y, that's sine r sine theta and that's 5 square root of 3 which is 8.66 so just in case you forgot the, the the formula you can still use your calculator 
Okay, for problem number 3, find the value of the cosine theta if the terminal side contains negative 3 and negative 4. So we are asked to find for the value of the cosine theta of this terminal side that has points of negative 3 and negative 4. Well, of course, we need fa to find first the value of theta. So we are given a negative 3 and negative 4 as a terminal side. So we are going to convert that into polar in order for us to get the theta and then get the cosine of that theta. Okay, so again, since this is rectangular, I'm going to convert it into polar. Same process as we have uh, did a while ago. Then that, that will be negative 4. So we have, we don't care about the R. We care about the theta, which is negative 126.87, let's say. So negative 126.87, that is what we will get the cosine of. Okay. Oh, I'll just rewrite this. Negative 126.87. I'm going to delete this. Right? So, because we are being asked of the value of the cosine. So, it turns out it's negative 0 0.6. Which means it's letter C. Because negative 3 fifths is negative 0 0.6 in decimal. So, if we get that. Okay, let's try. That is 0 0.6, of so which a while ago it's negative. So the answer here it will be letter C. Okay, so that's how easy it is. How about if we get the sign? So if we wish to get the sign, negative 1 to 6.87, right? So sine of theta, that would be negative 0 0.8 if we get the value of sine theta, just in case. Okay. So next one, problem 4. From the given figure, find the length of the hypotenuse C if side B is 30, here the side B is 30, and in the side A is 20. So as you can see, this is a right triangle. So we can simply get the value of C by just get using the Pythagorean theorem. And we know that 20 squared plus uh, 30 uh, squared, then square root of that answer that would be 36.06, of course, uh, if we know the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean formula. But just in case you forgot <laughs> the Pythagorean uh, formula, okay, you can also use the polar and rectangular to be able to get the hypotenuse. Okay, if we convert this 30 and this 20, okay, this 20 is the y because it's the vertical. This b is the uh, x. So we will be having x as 30 and a as 20. y as 20. So if we get the polar coordinate of that, so again, our x will be the value of b, which is 30. And if we get the y here as a because it's vertical, so you have 20 the value of the r will be the hypotenuse. And that would be 36.06 still, if in just in case you forgot the uh, Pythagorean formula. Theorem. Okay, so the answer will be letter C. Okay, and lastly, lastly for the problem number 5, from the given figure, the length of the hypotenuse C is 60. So, you know, this this is the same figure as the problem number four. This is the same figure. But the only given here is that this C is now given. It is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is given, which is 60. And it's it has an angle equal to 30 degrees. So, this is the included angle 30 degrees. Find the sides A and B. So, the same process we are going to do. We are going to revert the process. So, since we are given... Uh, an hypotenuse which is C which is 60 okay, and, an, and an included angle between A and B okay, we can take this 60 as the R and the included angle as the 30 degrees so that if we convert it into rectangular we'll be getting the value of A and B let's try 
So if we're going to convert that into rectangular, we have 60 and then we have 30 here. So you now have X. Okay, be careful. Your X here will be 52, which is the B in this case. And then your Y will be 30. So 52 for X, okay, which is the B. And A will be 30. So the answer here will be letter B. Okay, so and again, that's all. Thank you so much for listening. This is Injir Abbott. Okay, thank you so much. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. So if you find this video helpful, okay, please subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Injir Abbott. See you again on the next video.